my top 10 was inspired by being a trans woman in my 30s and i was looking for a roadmap to find meaning for how to live going forward and i found that the trajectory of divorced women looked a lot like the trajectory of transition hi i'm tori peters one of the things I started thinking about after I transitioned was the question of freedom. I thought about existentialist idea that, you know, you have a context and not doing something rote within that context is a definition of freedom. And I think about like what led me to transition. I had to examine my choices in a very, very conscious way and that that's a kind of freedom. I learned about Chuck Sots magazine because it's run by a trans woman and what I love about truck slots is that it's really clear that everybody on the trucks are totally feeling themselves, but it's not like for a male gaze. It's like really for themselves. For me, like in a post-divorce or post-transition where those, those metaphors kind of blend into each other, being able to just feel yourself outside of a, of a frame that way is, is crucial. I watched that movie and thinking like, could I emulate this? Could I be this way? Like, here's this woman who has been lost and is suddenly like seeing new men is understanding her relationship to like the other people in the world in a new way. And there was something just so like luminous about the way she moved through it. I don't think that I would look to after Dolores as a role model for how to do any sort of breakup, but it's sort of because it's so incredibly messy. Like when you have a breakup to just be like, I'm going to save other people. I'm going to throw myself into these wild projects. I'm going to lose myself. And I think that the, the book is really a warning against doing that. I chose Sula because almost every divorce story I read and every story where women sort of find themselves after starting over, it wasn't men who taught you how to live. It was usually other women, the competitiveness, the learning from others and having negative role models too. And I just thought that Sula, you know, is such an incredible model for an entire life. Divorce women, they go through the same arc as trans women. Everything that they knew and who they thought they were is gone. To not get bitter and to sort of like see paths forward, that for me, watching divorced women do it was like, oh, they, you have to do it too. And, and not feeling like it's some new thing for trans women, but that like lots and lots of women have done this.